Hi right, people, welcome back to another video. As right here, I got the Asus ROG Li, Roll Ally, whatever you want to call it. But this thing I have it for three days now, and it's been great. And the initial setup was kind of rough, but once you get through that, then you should be good. If you're a tech savvy guy, then it shouldn't be that hard. It's just like setting up a PC, right? So today I got some tips and tricks for you guys so you can optimize your system so that it could best suit your play style, right? So these stuff I'm about to show you, it optimize your system to give you the best performance for each game, right? But you gotta, some, for some of the games, you gotta fine tune some of the stuff to make it even smoother. But these stuff should help you out because these are some essential steps that you need to optimize the Rogue. Right, so let me get into it real quick. First thing, you want to go to the Windows updates. So you want to go. Type, just type check for updates. And it brings up this screen. You just want to keep clicking this. Make sure there's no updates available. If there is updates, you want to make sure that's up to date, right? Because with these updates, when you just get out the box, it's going to give you a lot of updates. So make sure you do that and get those out of the way. So once you do that, once it's good, it says check is good. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the launcher, the game library, and you wanna go to content, right? Then you wanna go to update center. You wanna check here again, make sure everything's good. You click check for update again, let it load up, and then it's gonna let you know if there's any update. Since the system just came out, there's a lot been been there have been a lot of updates like each day. So make sure you check every day because they're still fine tuning the software, making sure everything's good and everything's running smooth. So make sure you check every day to make sure you're on the latest update because it helps out. So after that, the third thing you want to do, go to settings, then you go to operations mode, right? Then you go to GPU settings and want to go here. You want to set it to auto. This one, one of the, this right here is one of the most important things to make sure it adjusts to whatever game you're playing. Cause it, of the box, it comes on 4G, but you want to set it to auto. For each game, it will optimize itself to make sure it gives you the best performance for that game. So that's why you want to put it to auto. All right, so next you want to go to the AMD app. You want to go to Ohm. Then you want to go here, update. See, I got a few updates that I got to do. Oh, it's already updated. So you want to go here, you want to go to home. Then you want to go here and you want to update the drivers. The drivers are very important as well. So you want to make sure that's done. All right, the next thing, you want to go to my Asus. Make sure you set up, you sign up everything. Because when you first sign on, it's going to ask you to sign up. Then you want to go to customer support. Then you go to live updates. I wanna make sure everything is updated as well. You could check for update. I should be good, because the last time I did it was last night, unless there's a new update. Yeah, so it's good. So I wanna make sure that's done. So make sure all these updates are needed, guys. So just make sure you get that done before you try to play your video games. So the last step, you wanna go here. You wanna search for um, Windows features. Like if you type Windows features, you're gonna see the Turn off Windows features on and off, right? You hit that, it's gonna bring it here. You want to uncheck virtual machine platform. Hit OK. It's gonna ask you to restart, but you don't restart yet. Next thing, you wanna go here. You wanna search for core isolation right then when you get the core isolation thing you want to turn it off Hit yes then you just restart but when you do this right it's gonna disable your pin and your fingerprint so you just gotta re-enter your pin make sure you make back your pin and you just gotta go to back to settings and add back your fingerprint 